بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All praise is due to Allah alone We praise Him, we thank Him, we seek His guidance and His forgiveness We repent to Him, we seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our souls and our sinful deeds Whoever Allah guides, none can mislead And whoever Allah misleads, none can guide A bearer witness that there is no deity worthy of worship but Allah and a bearer witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and his last messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him. Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the best of knowledge. The scholars have said that the best of knowledge is the knowledge that will enable you to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most. The knowledge that will make you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and heedful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in this series, we're gonna, we will discuss the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the mightness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the clemency of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also, in each episode, we will discuss or we will highlight one of Allah's exalted attributes. And we will see the impact of this attribute on our lives. And we see how we should conduct ourselves in light of this attribute. And today, inshallah ta'ala, we will be speaking about the clemency of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The clemency of the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ta'ala described himself to be the all clement. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُورٌ حَلِيمٌ Indeed, Allah is the oath forgiven, the oath forgiven, and the all clement. Allah ta'ala is the all clement. He is so clement towards his slaves. Everything, everything in this universe, every atom of this universe, Submits to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything in this universe submits to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and surrenders to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala apart from the evil doers of the mankind and the jinn kind. And Allah ta'ala is so clement towards them, towards us, towards people. Allah ta'ala in the Quran said, تُسَبِّحُ لَهُ السَّمَاوَاتُ السَّبْعَ The seven heaven. The seven heaven are glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالْأَرْضُ وَمَنْ فِيهِنْ And also the earth. And everything that is in the earth, on the earth or in the heaven, worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glorifies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and surrenders to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and submits to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِن مِّن شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ There is nothing except that it, it glorifies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. None that glorifies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everyone glorifies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and praises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِن مِّن شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ Everything praises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala apart from the evil doers of the mankind and the jinn kind. And the spirit kind. وَلَكِنْ لَا تَفْقَهُونَ تَسْبِيحَهُمْ But you can't understand their praise. إِنَّهُ كَانَ حَلِيمًا غَفُورًا Allah Ta'ala was the ever clement, the all merciful, the most forgiven, or the most merciful and the oft forgiven. He is so, so clement towards us. Although He is the one who has brought us into, into existence, and you are nothing. Allah Ta'ala, when He spoke about our existence, Allah Ta'ala said, أَوَلَا يَذْكُرُ الْإِنسَانِ Can't man remember, أَنَّا خَلَقْنَاهُ مِنْ قَبْلِ That we have, we have brought him into existence. وَلَمْ يَكُ شَيْئًا And he was nothing. He was nothing. Allah Ta'ala brought us into existence for a purpose. Allah Ta'ala brought us from non-existence into an existence and from non-being into a being for a purpose, to worship Him. 
وما خلقت الجن والانس I have not created the human being the mankind and the jinn kind except الا ليعبدون except to worship me yet many people and many of his creations i mean the jinn kind and the mankind are rejecting him are denying him are heedless about him are forgetting him and allah ta'ala is so clement towards them allah ta'ala is so clement towards them allah ta'ala although they are rejecting him and denying him allah ta'ala provide for them provides for them with food allah ta'ala in the quran said قُلْ مَنْ يَكْلَأُكُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ مِنَ الرَّحْمَانِ Who is protecting you? Who is helping you? Who is saving you? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is giving you provision? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. بَلْ هُمْ عَنْ ذِكْرِ رَبِّهِمْ مُعْرِضُونَ But they are heedless about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. About remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are in heedlessness. When Ibrahim alayhi salam invoked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make Mecca a city of uh, security, a region of security, and he said, Oh Allah, provide the believers of Mecca with food. Allah ta'ala replied to him saying, I will provide for the believers and for the disbelievers. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ رَبِّ جَعَلْ هَذَا بَلَدًا آمِنًا And when Ibrahim said to Allah, O oh Allah, make this city, Mecca, a city of security, a region of security. وَرُزُقْ أَهْلَهُ مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ مَنْ آمَنَ مِنْهُمْ And provide the believers amongst his people. Allah Ta'ala replied to him immediately saying, I will provide the believers, I will provide for the believers, and I will provide for the disbelievers. Because I am the Lord of both, of the, both parties, the, the believers and the disbelievers. قَالَ وَمَنْ كَفَرْ Even the disbelievers, I will provide for him. I will provide for him. And it is out of his clemency that he is providing the disbelievers, although they are disbelieving in him. They are rejecting him, and they are denying him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so clement, and so merciful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also, when the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spoke about his power, he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can, with one order, he can wipe us out. But Allah ta'ala is so clement. Allah ta'ala is so clement. Ya ayyuhan nasu antumul fuqara'u ilallah. O people, you are the poor in your relationship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَاللَّهُ هُوَ الْغَنِيُّ الْحَمِيدُ And Allah Ta'ala is the Almighty, the, all, the, the, all, the, 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 the rich, and the only absolute. إِنْ يَشَأْ يُذْهِبُكُمْ If he intends, he can wipe you out. وَيَأْتِي بِخَلْقٍ جَدِيدٍ And he can bring a new people. But Allah Ta'ala is so clement towards us. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the sound hadith said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't sleep. Allah ta'ala does not sleep. And he said that it doesn't befit his majesty to sleep. It doesn't befit his majesty to sleep. And then he said, وسلم, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rises the scale and lowers it. And then he said, his veil is light. If he removes it, the rays that comes from his face, the rays that come from his face, will burn everything that his sight reaches to. Only if he removes the veil from his face, the countenance of his face will burn everything that his sight reaches to. But Allah Ta'ala is so merciful towards us. Allah Ta'ala is so great and so powerful. He can wipe us out with, with one order, just by removing the veil of his face. وَرَبُّكَ الْغَفُورُ ذُ الرَّحْمَةِ And your Lord is the all-forgiven. The one who is full of mercy and full of pity. لَوْ يُؤَاخِذُهُمْ بِمَا كَسَبُوا If he takes them account for their actions, لَعَجَّلَ لَهُمُ الْعَذَابِ He would have hastened the punishment for them. 
بل لهم موعد لن يجدوا من دونه موئلا but they have a day which they won't have any way to escape from another sign of Allah's clemency is that he is holding the heavens not to collapse on us Allah Ta'ala said إن الله يمسك السماوات والأرض أن تزولا Indeed Allah Ta'ala is holding the heaven not to collapse on you Out of his clemency and out of his mercy is holding the heaven not to collapse on us Although many of us are rejecting him And many of us are denying his rights And many of us are disobeying him But he's so clement Tabarak wa taqaddas Subhanahu wa ta'ala Furthermore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened His mercy towards those who sinned and disobeyed Him. Uh, in the sound hadith the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Allah, said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Qudsi hadith, Allah ta'ala said, O oh son of Adam, as long, as long as you call me with trust in my mercy, I shall forgive you with the greatest of ease. O oh son of Adam, if, if you... If you if your sins extended reaching the horizon, then you sought my pardon, I shall forgive you with the greatest of ease. O son of Adam, if you came to me with earthful or earthful of sins, and you don't associate with me any other God, I will meet you with earthful of forgiveness. So Allah Ta'ala will come to you with earthful of forgiveness. It is a it is the clemency of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How to conduct ourselves in light of this attribute? First of all, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, by this attribute. We should ask Him by this attribute. We should say, Oh Allah ta'ala, you are the clement. Forgive us. And also, we should always thank Allah ta'ala for this attribute. We thank Him because He's clement towards us. And also, finally, we should try to implement in our life because Allah Ta'ala loves those who are clement as well. I ask Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala to increase our knowledge and to increase our iman and to make us benefit from this reminder and this talk. And I will see you inshallah Ta'ala again on the best of knowledge. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.